I just put cacao butter on my face, so I don't know if this will be all shiny now, but hey guys, we're back uh, doing another walk and talk video here in my neighborhood, how we used to do back in the day, back in the day, like three months ago. So I thought, so anyone who's been here for like before I came to New York, I used to do this, this every single Sunday where I just walk around and talk about my life. And I haven't been doing it and I thought, why not just do it again, you know? Why shouldn't I be able to just ramble on about my life and just, you know, and just tell you guys what I've been up to or like what I've been thinking. So I don't know, I'm just gonna talk. It's just you and me. I'm gonna do the talking, you're gonna do the listening. Yeah, that is a bad pitch. You should probably stop watching the, the video by now. Um, you know, and I'm not gonna cut this, though I'm, I shouldn't say that maybe I'm gonna cut this because I have a habit of just going off of a tangent, but I mean, look at the weather. It's beautiful in Germany right now. And so I wanted to talk about something that I realized when I came back to Germany from New York. So I've been in New York three months, right? And now I'm back in Germany for 10 days? I don't know, I'm not sure. Just about, I'm gonna go back to New York in four days and I'm really excited about it. But something I noticed is that I have, since I came back to Germany, have less energy. Like, you know, like just feeling, like physically not having as much energy. And I thought, how in the world can that be? Because I'm sleeping more again, you know. Um, I can better watch what I'm eating because like I'm not always on the go and I'm not always on the go. Like I'm just sitting at home now in front of my computer and not like doing my 15,000, 20,000 steps a day and having crazy busy days how I used to in New York. And so I thought, how in the world can I have less energy here than in New York? Makes no sense. And then I realized and that's also something I noticed when I came to New York, like I was doing these all nighters. I was sleeping five hours a night and I was waking up after five hours of sleep. And I'm like, yo, I have energy. I'm excited for this day. How can that be? I don't need my eight hours of sleep anymore. And I realized that my energy, like how I feel my physical energy is so much more predicated on being able to do what I want to do and not predicated on how many hours of sleep I get. And I think this is pretty normal, right? And I realized like one thing that has a big impact on my energy are people. Like just being able to meet new, random, like-minded, cool, interesting, awesome people, getting to know them, making connections, networking, whatever you want to call it, has a lot to do with my energy. And I can't do that in Bremen. Like, of course you're people and stuff, but it's just not the same thing. And so I also started thinking, so what is it about the people that I met in New York that is different to here? And I think the main thing, and those are the interesting people that I find interesting when I meet them in New York. Like not everyone in New York is interesting and they are interesting everywhere in the world. But it's people who go out and do what they want to do. And so Jay, one of my best friends in New York now, like it's crazy to me how, how many and how good of friends I've made in New York. But Jay, like one of my best friends now in New York, he, he works as a freelance photographer. He used to work in banking, corporate America for 10 years. He was making a lot of money. He was living the dream life. He told me about it. Like he had a big fucking house in Miami, like all fancy and stuff, you know, had all the things that you want, but he was miserable. Even though he had all this money, this beautiful house in Miami. And so he quit his job, started working as a freelance photographer. And now he's tr struggling, right? Like. He's living at a place in Brooklyn together with me, which isn't at all fancy. 
like he has to work hard to like find the next gig that can pay his rent and his bills but he's happy now because he's doing what he wants to do like you know and he's going out there and grabbing it and not like saying like oh well you know that's not possible you can't you can't make a living by being a photographer no he tries it adrian he came to new york from california i think five months ago so two months before i came here to pursue a videographer career like he just moved to new york had not a lot of money didn't have a job and now he's hustling to make a living by making videos you know and i've met all kinds of people like young old entrepreneurs freelancers i don't know but just the mindset of like going out there and doing it and there's so many people like that in in new york and i think that's why i i want to go there like for me like my mindset didn't change from bremen to new york but the opportunity changed and i realized there's so much that i can do and that i'm good at and that i want to do and try out and there's no way i can try it out here and new york just gives you the tools to win like i had an analogy and say like you have the goal of putting a nail in the wall right like that's your goal you're gonna say okay finn i'm gonna put this nail into the wall that's your goal the the difference between bremen and new york if you have the same goal which is putting a nail into the wall new york in bremen in bremen you first first what you have to do you have to build a hammer you have to figure out how to build a hammer and then you can go ahead and put the nail into the wall. In New York, New York hands you that hammer. New York's like, here, yeah, there you go, there's your hammer. And it's also giving you like all the tools, like, it's, I don't know shit, I don't know any names of like how like tools are named. Like this thing you use to cut a tree. Like New York has all the tools and it's just handing them to them. It's still up to you, to me, to put the nail into the wall. But it's easier, you know? New York gives you the tools to win. So like, like if you want to become an actor, of course you, I can become an actor in, in, in Bremen. By the way, I'm not saying I'm going to become an actor. Um, but it's just way easier if you go to LA and then pursue um, actor acting career, you know? It just, it gives you the tools to win. And New York just opened up all these opportunities and possibilities and and ways for me to figure out what i really want to do and what i'm good at by just trying it all out and meeting all these amazing people who are doing the same thing for them figuring out what they want to do and and, and going for it and so i can't talk anymore and i can't hold my arm up anymore i think this is actually the longest walk and talk video we've done I've never come to that point with a video. I don't know how long this video will be. And I'm very sorry for that. But, you know, I think I won't cut this. And so I'm really excited to go back to New York in four days. And that's about it. I don't know if I'm going to do these videos again. I probably should. Maybe when I'm back in Germany again. Anyway. Have a good one, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you actually managed to do it, to watch through all of this, you're a hero. And I don't understand why you would ever want to do that. But I appreciate you. And let's do what we want to do. Yeah. Bye-bye, <laughs> guys. Hard to wait.